Oh, hello and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. So, Poyo here is jealous of how Jerris's AI Sierra had a more human-sounding voice. I'm not jealous of that overgrown speak and spell. Right. So anyway, Poyo has been asking me to install a new voice module inside of him, so here we are. I'm hoping I have some choices here. Of course, I'm setting up a randomizer first, so that when you find a voice that you like, you can adjust it as you see fit. And go! Ah, there we go. Hmm, it's an okay voice, but something about it seems a little Daffy Duckish. Have an our go. Alrighty. Here we are. Whoa, damn. A bit more than I really anticipated. A little too very white for my taste, but not bad. Try again. We are never going to get to the review at this rate. Still? Okay, here we go. Hmm, a woman's voice? Could work, though I admit I don't really see myself as a woman. Poyo, you are whoever you want to be, so do whatever you want. I think we'd get accused of ripping off Short Pact. Give it one more try. Okay, let's do this. Hello? 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 Yes, yes, I like this. British. Superior. Snarky. Yes, I think this will do nicely. Very me. Let's go with it. Indeedy. And on that note, let's talk about... ROM. Saris, you didn't say there'd be a big computer console at the front door. I think our information on this place is out of date. Okay. I've got a trace. It's faint, but just try to keep their internal sensors jammed as long as possible. Okay, it's right here. Have you been helped? I, um... I'm just here for the magic coin. <laughs> no. Nimbue sensors counteracted the jamming signal very quickly. You're not using very sophisticated equipment. Yeah, well, uh, shut up! You know, maybe I'll just take the magic coin and... <laughs> I think I'll actually be going. Have a great evening. That would be 20 bucks. No way! The bet was if no one tried to kill me in a year. She was not here to kill me. Semantics. Still, next time we'll see where this goes, and maybe it'll pick up. I'm done with the review now. You can come in. I said it's okay to come in. Nope. Won't be opening that up again anytime soon. Nimue, what the hell is going on? Nimue? Mayday! Mayday! Can anyone hear me? I could really use some help right about now. <laughs> Sleepwalk through eternity. Thank you, that was quite helpful.
you know, maybe, maybe I'll just stay in here for a little while and uh, work on my next review. Wasn't this different behind me? <laughs> Hello and welcome to a top. Atop the fourth wall, where bad comics burn, we continue our look at... SHUT UP ALREADY! Nightmares on Elm Street. <laughs> I am also trapped in my office, since every time I open the door, some new horror awaits me. And the last time I tried to leave despite that, well... You're here forever! I have a bit of a headache from that one. In the meantime, though, let's dig into Nightmares on Elm Street number three and number four and see where this comic is going, since I'm certainly not going anywhere. Next time, we conclude this mini-series... Shut up, shut up, shut up! Lankara, let us in! You've been doing that for hours. It's not going to work with the state he's in. At least then we're doing something. Nims, any luck with the force field? Nimue is directing all her attention to bring down the force field, but it's in place by protected backup systems. She's unable to gain access. Probably because it was designed that way. Ningseno, any progress on the teleport? I've been over it six times, so just isn't a way to narrow the teleport beam enough to pierce the force field. Maybe if you had asked that Sierra computer how he did it. Well, I didn't. But here's an idea. Prove you're smarter than that ENIAC ripoff ever was. You again. Yeah. Sarahs, I don't think the cloaking device is working anymore. You got five seconds to tell us what the hell you did to Linkara, lady. What? What have you done to Linkara? No idea what you're talking about. I'm just here for the coin. Forgive me if I seem suspicious when there's crap going on with the kid in the other room! What stuff? Nankara began a review of some Nightmare on Elm Street comics. Then his office got locked, and from our surveillance, we know something's happening to him. Reviewing? Oh, he's an internet reviewer, right? Yeah, so? Well, it's October and he's doing a horror review. This sort of thing happens all the time to internet reviewers. If he's reviewing A Nightmare on Elm Street, then he's probably having a nightmare where he fights Freddy Krueger. It's one of our oldest tropes. Hasn't this sort of thing happened on his show before? Technically, yes. So, all you have to do is let it play out. He'll fight Freddy, and everything will work out. Nice theory, but there's a little bit of a problem with it. What's that? He's not asleep. What? We've got surveillance on the kid. He's not asleep. He's wide awake. I swear, I have nothing to do with this. I'm just here for the magic coin. It's, a, uh, it's kind of my thing. You think we buy that? You probably did something to him to distract us so you could take the coin! Look, I'm a thief, and you guys are standing right there. Even with my cloaking device, I'd still want as little going on as possible. Then why are you trying to steal it now? Look, I have a deadline. And if I didn't do it tonight, it wasn't gonna get done. But, if it's gonna cause this much trouble, then you can keep the damn- Whoa! Okay, that's new. I've never seen it do that before. Well, I think that may explain what's going on with your friend in there. How so? It's just a magic coin. The kid uses it to turn into a Power Ranger sometimes. And grow giant-sized. We got some complaints from the neighbors for that. You don't know anything about this coin, do you? Well, not really. Linkara just kind of found it one day. He said it came in the same box as the spell book. Well, there's a legend behind it. Of course there is! Heaven forbid it just be some magical tchotchke you order out of F.A.O. Schwartz! No, no, no! Has to be the freaking Ring of Power! Hush, you. Thousands of years ago, 
when magicians and sorcerers dominated the world, a being from another universe found its way to Earth, it was said to be born of an alchemist's nightmares, some being that likened itself unto a god, part machine and part demon. It gained worshippers and slaves, amassing power quickly, and was completely resistant to the spells launched against it. A team of alchemists and magicians joined together and forged a great spear, made of a unique metal never before imagined, an alloy of mystically charged particles and foreign substances collected from falling stars and the strongest materials mined from the Earth. The spear worked better than they could have imagined. It was already great enough that it could physically hurt the creature, but when the spear was fully charged with magic, even close proximity to it messed with the creature's head, drove it mad. With a weapon like that, the creature fled never to return. What does any of that have to do with the magic coin? Well, they discovered that it actually affected humans too, just over a longer period of time. They melted down the spear, but kept the metal around in case they'd ever need it again. Time passed, and the material ended up with different people, traded it around with various collectors who made it into objects or coinage, and here we are. Magic coin. We've all been around that thing for years. Why is it only affecting him? And why now? Well, it's not just the metal itself. It's the fact that it's mystically charged. It's more sensitive to magic users. From what I've seen, if it's regularly drained, then it's perfectly safe. Mechagara drained the magic coin years ago. It would probably take this long for it to recharge again. Okay, all of that makes sense. Why is there a Pokemon on it? I don't know. Maybe the last guy who owned it really liked Digiman or whatever this is. It's a Lugia! The point is, are you saying that if we let you have the coin, then Kara will get better? He might. I have been trying to get my hands on one of these for a while, and I did have a plan to drain the magic away when I got it. Couldn't hurt to get it away from it for a little while, at least. Take it. But we'll be in touch, I can assure you. My card. Look, I don't wish anything bad on you or your friend in there. If there's anything I can do to help, look me up. Noted. Now skedaddle with that coin. Nimoy's got a trace on her. Of course. Saris, are they tracking me? Bingo. Well... That's not unexpected. Let me know how else this evening can suck. I warned you about the batteries. Still, I don't know if it was a good idea to give her that coin. Or to trust her. I could have just driven away with the coin myself. I trust Nimue, and I trust Comicron One's weapons in case this is all a bit calm. Somehow I've got a feeling she wasn't lying. Let's just hope she was right and that this will help Linkara. Hello and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. Still stuck in here, still reading this miniseries. So, uh, let's dig into Nightmares on Elm Street, number five and number six, and see how he's defeated here. Damn it, I'm not stopping for directions! I'll just use the map and... Aw, oh, damn it! Where'd the comic go? It doesn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Dying, I mean. Now, the part where I was shot twice, yeah, that hurt. Huh. There are rules here too, Jacob. The weirdest rule is the one about ducks not being allowed to wear sandals. Why would they even be wearing those? Dan says that there are lots of souls trapped here, particularly those who died before they were supposed to. Eh, Freddy vs. Final Destination just doesn't hold the same appeal for me. Okay, but I don't want anybody else to get hurt. And if Freddy Krueger is known for anything, it's not hurting people. I'll let you go. Your new nightmare is having to listen to the Frozen soundtrack on a continual loop. Forever. What's happened to you? I've changed, Daddy. I'm using a much more energy efficient bulb now. We can. I know the way in now. Yes, with your new dream powers, you have successfully... located a car trunk. What? No. Oh. Wait, what? 
But yeah, Freddy says Jacob can use the same technique to bring his dad back to life. So, like, what happens to the body in the grave if he does that? Does that mean that there are two of him? Or do they magically teleport inside of him? This makes no sense! He's got enough upstairs to know I'm not lying to him. Eh, the jury's still out on that, especially when Jacob thought talking to his dad's gravestone would bring him back. Next time, we return to the Clone Saga for my seventh anniversary of doing this. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. I think even dead people know what's going on, so come on, show yourself, and let's get this over with. Oh, you ought to know, being one of the dear departed. I'm not dead yet. Give it time! Just show yourself, you burnt piece of crap! Wait, why do you look like me? Maybe it's because you're the real killer. Maybe it's all in your head and you're your own worst fear. Or maybe you just don't have a lot of imagination. Or maybe you didn't want me to spend this whole fight calling you Pizza Face. Ooh, look at the funny guy. Better than your one-liners, Fred. Tell me, do you do that because you secretly want to be James Bond or because it's a better supervillain gimmick than Captain Cutlery? <laughs> Why are you screaming? I haven't even cut you yet. Ooh, I'm gonna have some fun with you, Linky Lou. I think I'll start by slicing a few chunks of you off just to watch them grow right back. <laughs> or maybe I'll summon up one of your little friends and cut a few parts off of them and then let you watch. <laughs> Linkara, if you can hear me, whatever you're seeing, it's not real. What? You shut up! You are hallucinating, Linkara. Nobody's coming to bring you out of this. Care to repeat that? You are hallucinating. An unusual radiation has been affecting you. You have not slept in days. As the source of the radiation moves away, your mind should reassert control and reject the hallucination. Well, ain't that ducky. Oh, you're not out of this just yet. Before I go, I'm gonna slice out a good time. Ha 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 ha. Prepare to lick your wounds! Jeez, what is it with you and tongues? Oh, I'm gonna cut your eyes out for that! A, a cross? I'm not a goddamn vampire! Then come at me, dude! Five, six, grab your crucifix. It's just there for the rhyme, you- I could also cite evidence from part three where a cross and holy water hurt you, but I think my point is clear. You frickin' nerd! Ooh, a scathing insult in the year 2015. What's next? You gonna call me a duck? <laughs> Maybe I'm not real, but before I go, I'm gonna make sure that you die first. All alone. In fact, I'm not even in front of you. And whoever said I was alone? Damn, boy! The hell? My title card artist calls him Thing Tucker. It's the thing from another world, but voiced by Chris Tucker. Do you understand the words coming out of his mouth? You freaking little! And I think I'm done here. Oh, what? You're gonna be an AVGN ripoff from when he fought Freddy?
Nah, I'm gonna rip off something else. What the? UFO ending! But I, I can see the pole it's hanging from. the power glove! Kid, can you hear me? Are you all right in there? Oh yeah, just defeated Freddy Krueger and I, uh, I feel really tired. Hello and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. Did I just review Marvel? I feel like I haven't slept in days. What day is it? What? Holy crap! It's October 26th! It's our 7th anniversary! Hell yeah, people! It is 7 years to the day that Atop the Fourth Wall premiered in video form on the old blog spot that is now radically out of date because it still has blip embeds on it and people still commenting on it on occasion even though I've been like directing people to my site for over a year now. <sighs> Welcome back from a low-budget space, Fred. Still a funny guy, I see. Ooh, I'm full of jokes. Ever hear the one about the asshole who got his head blown off twice in one week? Oh, don't worry. I ain't here to do anything to you. Oh, really? How am I even seeing you? The magic coin is far away, and I finally got some sleep. Good on that, by the way. Just came here to tell ya, it's your move. What? The game, Linkara! I made my move. Now, it's your turn. What the hell are you talking about, Freddy? Freddy? Ha 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 Now whoever said I was Freddy? The board has been set up, human. Now, it's your turn. <laughs> well then, I'd better make sure I win. Alan called. He said the Calestus crew wanted to meet with you about the design ideas for... A secret ship. Well, I don't think it was meant to be a secret, but... No. I think we should build one. What are you talking about? We have the technology, we just need the resources. I could send the Vigilant out to the asteroid belt to scope it out, maybe find some materials to mine. Then Kara? Huh? Oh, sorry man, I was just thinking out loud here. About what? Ideas. Concerns about what we have. But most especially, what we don't have. I don't follow. It's been months since I fought that, well, Freddy Krueger thing. At the end of it, he said it was my turn. Ever since then, though, nothing. Nothing new, nothing different, nothing out of the ordinary that would normally get my attention. I thought we wrote that off as a lingering after-effect of the magic coin. I know, it's just... There's something inside of me. A worry, a concern, about the future. I don't see much point in dwelling on it. The chessboard is the world, the pieces are the phenomena of the universe. The other player is hidden from us. We know that his play is always fair and patient, but we also know to our cost, 
that he never overlooks a mistake, nor makes the smallest allowance for ignorance. Thomas Huxley. Hmm. We're woefully unprepared. It always feels that way, anyway. We try to make new weapons and whatnot, but it never seems to be enough. Not when the big fights come. Some of them we could hardly call them fights. I beat the entity by outthinking it. But what happens when one of its bigger brothers comes along and doesn't care about its place in the universe and just feels like stomping on us? By that same admission, though, why should it care to stomp on us if it's beyond revenge or the like? Tell that to the King of Worms. And it was considered a lesser being in its pantheon. One legend suggests that it was a human who ascended into godhood. And even at that level, we got our asses kicked. The King of Worms tricked us in so many ways. And it's not just him. Mechakara has come back more times than I can count. And Vice took us completely by surprise twice. Then there was that whole fiasco last Halloween with the magic coin. We didn't know anything about it. We always try to develop new weapons, new technologies, but... I don't know. Maybe we've lost the knack for it. But we still win through. And that's even more terrifying, though. We don't know how the King of Worms was killed. It just... died. Well, sitting and speculating isn't going to help. What do you suggest we do? We need... information. Knowledge. I know one place we can start looking, but I want you to look into something else. At your disposal. When 90's kid returned from the future, he brought something back with him, some kind of message for me. We haven't done a lot of study of it, but I think it's time we learned what the hell it means. Getting him away on it. In the meantime, I'll call Alan back about his thing. On it. Time to start moving some pawns. What the hell? Saris? What are we doing in Linkar's apartment? Because I teleported you here. Oh, don't stop on my account. I'll wait until you're finished. You really don't handle surprises well, do you? Your face doesn't handle surprises well. Uh-huh. Your name is Aaron, yes? Well, my full name is... And I'm sorry, you are... Pissed off? She's Saris. How did you know what my name is? I know people in the government. Hi, kid, though. I didn't have to escalate it that far. No, I got your name thanks to your business card you left with us. Aaron's Antiques. You're an internet reviewer. Guilty as charged. Although, not a very successful one. It seems people like comic books more than hearing about strange artifacts. I would argue with you about how popular, or rather not popular, my show is, but that's neither here nor there. What is of interest to me, though, is the artifacts thing. Artifacts that, as far as I can tell, you steal. Borrow? I always return them afterwards. Speaking of, I recorded the one on your coin, and I drained off the excess magic. So, it should be safe for another few years. Thank you. You know, you saved my bacon last Halloween. Purely by accident, but thanks. You're welcome. From what I've seen of your show, you seem to know a lot about the pieces you borrow. <sighs> I like a good story, and our world has so many of them. Ancient monsters, interdimensional incursions, wizards, warlocks. Hell, fictional characters will sometimes pop out of nowhere and attack people. Yeah, I don't pretend to understand that either. Rumor has it, we live in a plot hole. May you live in interesting times. I could give a lecture on that phrase, but my time is precious. So here's my question. What do you want? I want to hire you. You could have just called? I could have, but considering you broke into my place twice with the intent to steal from me, I thought I would show off what I can do. Interested in a job? I'm not exactly that skilled a video editor, but... I could give it a shot. No, 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 no. I want to employ you as an historian of the strange and mythical. I think that could be arranged, but why now? After you left, I had an encounter. Maybe it was just a lingering hallucination. Maybe it was something else. But knowing my luck, it was probably a new enemy. 
And considering the magic coin may be tied into this, I think I need some knowledge and expertise not normally available to me. Someone or something is playing a larger game, and I think it's time I took it seriously. Alrighty, I'll be in touch. You can beam us back now. Before you go, your first assignment. What's this? Some code? We think so. It's a copy of a message we received a few years ago. I figure with your knowledge of ancient lore and codes, you might be able to figure out something that we haven't. I'll give it a shot, but first, I've got a video to record. So does this mean we're actually going to get a paycheck for once? Hush, you. I'm just saying, I really want to accessorize my look a bit, and clothes of my size aren't cheap. Dear lord, you guys suck. Not Aerosmith, of course, just the future villain band thing. But anyway, I... What the hell? How, how can this be happening? his only plea dumb whatever right now the show is free he got bad production and he hates the reboot and he's got a spaceship and a Night is slacker, he sits on the couch indefinitely. Engage him on Blue Beetle and he'll never cease. Dumb whatever, right now, the show is free. Bookings are a sight to see. Dumb whatever. Right now, the show is free. You're serious with this. Behold, Linkara! My future villain band! Oh, for the love of. It's been five years, and you're still just as derivative, Watley. What do you mean, derivative? Future villain band? 
First of all, all the villains here are from my past, not my future. Second, that's just the name of the villains in Sgt. Pepper. Couldn't you make it Linkara Villain Band or something? Ooh, that is a better name. Linksano, what are you doing there? I used to be one of your villains. Yeah, but you haven't been for years. And you're in a band? I have other interests outside of you, Linkara. And George Burns, you're supposed to be the narrator. They made me a better offer. You clearly didn't need me anymore. And really, Whatley, how are you here at all? Margaret destroyed you. There are opportunities where the line between death and life can be crossed when I can finish what was started. And that opportunity was a comic adaptation of a movie about a Beatles album. The line between fiction and reality is even more precarious than the one between life and death. Also, this is your big revenge scheme? You form a band and sing a parody song? I also kidnapped one of your loved ones. Hey, Linkara. Poyo, you have a gun. How did you get chained up? I have other interests outside of you. This day refuses to not be idiotic. Your sanity is hanging by a precarious thread, Linkara. All it needs is one little push to drive you over the edge. No argument here. Think of it, Linkara. After all you've done for 400 episodes, you witnessed so many insane comics, so many terrible plots, crappy characters, and the morally offensive that you've been told to like. And it never ends, Linkara. Your job will never be over. This is why this comic shall be your downfall, for you will never be as popular as the Bee Gees. You will be forever seen as a scammer and a fat loser. You are a failure. Linkara briefly considered the words of his otherworldly enemy, wondering if perhaps he had a- SHUT point. UP! Well, you've got a point or two, Whatley. I'm never going to be as popular as the Bee Gees. Bad comics do keep getting made, and in the end, I'm probably never going to make the industry any better. I'm just some guy on the internet making fun of awful books. But a failure? I used to get mad at the fools The villains who thought they were cool The throwing around Insults and put downs Haters and trolls are just tools I've got to admit I'm getting better Turning out content all the time I'm sorry to say it doesn't matter However much you Complain and whine Used to be a nervous young man Without a clue or a plan Although I'm a nerd My voice is still heard From here all the way to Japan With 400 shows I've gotten better Special effects and funny lines Room used to be half in the shadows Had a catchphrase since episode 9 Miller, Liefeld, Brodsky, they're unkind He's getting better all the time Better Better I am getting better all the time He's getting better all the time I used to let comments and insults control me and keep me away from the things that I love. Never been mean, only slightly obscene. The storyline just cause I can. I have got to admit I'm getting better. Every Monday the show's online. Yes, I admit it's much better. It isn't perfect, but that is fine. I am getting better all the time. He's getting better all the time. Better, better, better. better. He is getting better all the time. I am getting better all the time.
So, uh, what are we supposed to do when the singing is over? Red Executioner, kill him! Kill him! He has no weapons! Dude, did you just steal the pyramid head I caught in a Pokeball? The barriers only weakened when you started the review! I didn't have time to plan my vengeance! Wait, does that mean that the barriers will be restored once the review is over? Yes. So, what will happen to you? George Burns, kill him! With what? You get returned to wherever you were when you died, don't you? Linksano! Actually, I'm gonna run too. I'm in talks to host the next version of Cosmos, and I cannot miss that meeting. Very well. I shall kill you myself, Linkara. Prepare to feel the wrath of- Boyo, please shoot him. Okay. And Kara was victorious, but at what cost? His best friend was dead, and he would have to carry that weight. I'm not dead. I know, I'm just following what the script says. With the strange and awful events behind him, Linkara knew that the only way to bring closure to this whole thing would be to finish his review. And he was able to get back from the other world because... The Kool-Aid man is red, I don't know. I don't get it either. I'm gonna knock off for the day. So anyway... Hey, kid, what are you up to? Oh, just working on the future message again. Have you seen 90s kid? I want him to do some recalibration to the neutron blasters on Comicron 1. Nope, and he hasn't answered his phone in a while either. It's starting to get really frustrating not having people around when you need them. Although, come to think of it, we haven't seen him in a while, have we? Eh, I'm sure he's got a life outside of this place. Oh, right, right. Anyway, I was gonna go out and do some Pokemon going. You interested? Yeah, yeah, I'll come. I'm getting nowhere with this thing. Great, I'll get some water. Doesn't make any damn sense, hmm? Why send me a message from the future unless it was something vitally important? But if it was that important, why not just come out and say it? Why the puzzle? Maybe in the future we communicate in riddles. Well, we already know that's true because the future contains the phrase, that's totally Kleenex. I don't know, maybe it was something they couldn't say openly, like they were afraid someone else would find out what it said. But who else would care? Ugh, I just... I need something to work backwards from. What do the numbers mean? I thought maybe the 0, 6, and 7 bit meant that we took the letters where there's a 0, 6, and 7 above them and make a message from that. But there are too many combinations with all those letters. It could be anything. Well, come on, let's just go hunting for some magic cop down by the lake. Right, 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 right. We're close to the truth now. This is less than radical. And so I said to Sierra, that's no moon, that's your motherboard. I've got it! You've got what? The puzzle, I think we've got it. Great, what does it say? Well, to be accurate, Erin thinks she solved how it works. I'm gonna have Nimue solve for this and we'll see what happens from there. What puzzle? The 90s kid once traveled into the future and brought back a message with him but it's in some kind of code. And 90s kid is the 20-something pretending to be a teenager? I don't know what you're talking about, but the one in the orange hat. Yeah, him. I haven't seen him around very much. Anyway, that's enough backstory. It's time for exposition. I was half right. The world is at 0, 6, and 7, meaning you're supposed to take the letters from under those numbers. But you said it made too many possibilities with those letters. Ah, yes, but then I showed the puzzle to Aaron. The thief lady. I like her coat. 
I want a coat. Focus, please. She explained to me that the Babylonians didn't have a concept of the number zero. And since one of the phrases is, the Babylonians knew the truth, you just exclude any of the letters that fall under zero, which gives us a slightly more limited range to work with. It's a sound theory, but we don't know for certain that's it. No, yep, only one way to find out. Nimue! Confirmed. Have you heard everything I just said? This unit has been listening. Processing has begun. Once you've processed all those letters, rearrange them into a sentence. Now, if this was a message meant for me, then it's most likely something I would recognize right away. So put at the top the most likely message that would be meant for me, given, you know, who I am. Processing. Analyzing. Printout ready. Okay, let's see it! All right, the most likely possibility is a... Nimue, teleport us up to Comicron 1. Now, now! Get everyone else up here! Once they're aboard, shields up and red alert! Linkara, what the hell is going on? This unit was able to transport all relevant figures except for the one known as 90s Kid. Well, of course, of course you couldn't find him. Dude, what the hell is happening? We have to find it. Oh, we gotta find Vice too. Damn it, I knew it was too easy! Linkara, would you please enlighten us as to what's going on? What was the message? Rubbish. I hope you're right. I really, really do. But this was a warning from the future, man! Can someone please explain to me what the hell is going on? About five years ago, a very powerful creature attempted to take over the world. It nearly succeeded. This entity was a godlike being, related to the King of Worms, but much more powerful. How did you beat it? We didn't! Nimue, where are those scans? In progress. This unit is analyzing every possible scanning permutation under its power. What do you mean you didn't? I was able to convince it to kill itself. We got lucky. But but there was a phrase, a message that was centered around it and all the texts and stories about it. A piece of the world is missing. If the message from the future is that a piece of the world is still missing, that means it's coming back. Or it never really left. This is ridiculous, Linkara. Nimue, have there been any reports of mass disappearances? No such data has been reported. See? However, during the last encounter with the interdimensional being referred to as the Entity, it took several months into the disappearances for any such events to be widely reported. And maybe it's not back yet, and that just means we need to be even more vigilant about it. How are those scans coming? A scan of this magnitude requires an estimated 20 to 40 minutes of continuous activity before complete results are available. Well, I guess I know what I'm doing right now. Oh yes, when faced with an impossible situation involving the end of the world, one should definitely criticize a comic book. And put it on the internet, don't forget that second part. Nimue, cue up the theme song. Next time, a Patreon-sponsored review that I expected a lot sooner, frankly. It's time to review some My Little Pony Friendship is Magic comics. Scan of the planet now complete. Your timing is impeccable, Nimue. All right, where is it? Entity trace scan, negative. 
Outer God detection, negative. Energy emissions from particles in flux, negative. Interdimensional incursion trace within last six months, negative. Roaming data force trace, negative. Stop, 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 stop. Is it all negative? Confirmed. No trace of the entity can be located on Earth. But... But the message! Linkara, Nimoy said that was the most likely possibility, given that it was a message for you. But there were other possibilities to it, weren't there? Confirmed. Several other combinations of the letters of the message are possible. So why don't we head back down and start putting them together? I... I guess so. I... I should be happy about this, but I don't know. I, I just really felt that that was the answer, that m maybe it's still going to happen, or... The entity is dead. Right now, we should... Report! Information. There has been an explosion. Thanks, Nimoy. That's very helpful. Are we under attack? Negative. No other vessels are in the area. I'm remotely connecting to the systems now. Something's exploded near the ship's engineering. Warning. Attitude control systems are fluctuating. Bypass! Unable to comply. Warning. Impulse engines are now fluctuating. This unit can no longer keep the ship in a stable orbit. Earth's gravitational pull is overpowering the ship. Get us away from the planet! Confirmed. Oh god! I think I'm going to be sick. I, I don't even have organs, but I'm going to throw them all up. What the hell is going on?! We don't have complete control over the engines. They're firing at random propulsion settings from different emitters. Without attitude control, we can't stabilize everything. Kid, what the hell is going on up there?! Stand by! Trust me, I ain't doing any standing right now! Engineering the bridge! Whatever's going on is starting an overload in the core! Shut it down! Right, but if we do that, we won't have power to stabilize! And if we don't, we blow up! Shut it down! Right! Primary power is offline. Emergency power is now active. Warning, this unit is unable to restore stability. Working on it, but I... Nimoy, did you fix the engines? Negative. Inertial systems have not managed to return to full power. We have stabilized due to entering the gravitational pull of a celestial body. Engines are offline. On screen. Uh, are we supposed to be getting closer? Nimoy, put us into the moon's orbit. Unable to comply. Engine power is online. Use emergency power! Emergency power is insufficient to break us from the gravitational pull. Engineering the bridge! Whatever that explosion was, it took out several key circuits with it! The engine core is not coming back online! What the hell does any of that mean? Warning. Thruster control circuits not responding. It means we're screwed. Attempting to level our descent. Level our what? What the hell is happening? Uh, guys, why are we getting closer to the moon? We don't have power to the shields. I can't get anything online down here. Abandon ship. Everyone get to the vigilant. Comicron 1 is going to crash. Abandon ship.
it's still alive. And welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. Yeah, you may have noticed that things are a bit different behind me. Here's what happened. The managerial staff at my apartment sent me a letter. Dear Sir, due to noise complaints and liability issues related to giant robot attacks, invasions of interdimensional gods, and other such incursions, we have decided that the only fair thing to do is to raise your rent to $10,000 a month. Guys, we're moving! So yeah, I've moved into a rental house. The nice thing is we can rebuild the security system from the ground up, something long overdue, and I know today was supposed to be a Patreon-sponsored review of some My Little Pony comics, but with the recent loss of Comicron 1, I've got to admit I am not feeling it. Pony. So, I think I'll do something different, and, um, yeah, um, because of the short notice of this move, I had to take what I could get, and what I could get was being roommates with Vega from the show Idols of Anime. Hello. She is a My Little Pony fan, and has been quite insistent that I do these, this, this review here. Yes, I've been insistent. One other thing I tried to insist on is the fact that you didn't even want my help writing this. You haven't even watched an entire season. You don't even know how they met. You don't know anything about Pinkie Pie, my favorite pony. You don't even you didn't even see the latest episode where the Griffin wanted a cutie mark. You don't know anything about Starlight Glimmer or Equestria Girls or any of the If I do the reviews, will you leave me alone? You should be doing them for the Patreon sponsor people. Your logic is sound. And that is the power of friendship. Pony. Wait a second, that's not a pony. This is a Zeb Stryka from Pokemon. I ran out of plushies. How'd it go? About as well as we thought it would. Well, I wouldn't say it's all bad. We feared the lower decks would be totally compacted, but some sections actually are intact for the most part. However, much of the armor has buckled and been torn to shreds from the impact. Not to mention the lower towers are scattered out across about half a mile of the moon's surface. Give me the long and short of it. Is it salvageable? <sighs> Damn. I'm sorry, Linkara, but even if the towers were intact enough to generate the fields necessary to raise us off the surface, structural integrity won't hold in its current state, and half the computer systems were fried when the emergency power grid overloaded. If Nimboy hadn't transferred into the Vigilant with us, she'd be dead. There's lots of material we can salvage, most of the cargo bays are still intact, and overall the ship is there. If we had five years and a team of space-capable engineers, maybe we could do something. But those are in short supply. Maybe... Maybe we could ask Joe to help us. The Angry Army Orbital Station has got to have resources that we can- Toyo is being needlessly optimistic, Linkara. This isn't something you can slap some duct tape on and call it a day. Some of the metals used in the ship's construction are not native to this universe. Not to mention all the systems that were tied wholly into Lord Vice's presence on the ship. Trying to bypass them would be nearly impossible. Don't take it out on us, man. None of us are happy about this. It got us! Who got us? The Entity! Of course we didn't find the Entity on Earth. It was on board Comicron 1 the entire time. And then when it saw that we were onto it, it attacked and destroyed the ship. <sighs> Comicron 1 was the only thing that could hurt it. Of course it had tried to take it out. Linkara. And now it's gone and all we've got is the Vigilant. <laughs> 
We don't stand a chance against- It wasn't the entity. Oh no, I'm convinced now more than ever that- We accessed the black box. We know what happened. What? It was a Cybermat. Again! What? We even identified which Cybermat. We know what happened. When Vice took over that body for Poyo you were making, you sent a Cybermat after it. It managed to disable Vice, but Vice managed to disable it too. We never recovered its body for repair, and it's laying dormant for a few years now. It reactivated and hadn't been reprogrammed from the King of Worms' influence. It went crazy and started attacking several systems near the engineering deck. Like a pin popping a balloon, one little Cybermat brought down the entire ship. I think I made them a bit too well. But, but, but that's... It got brought down because... Listen, like Linksano said, there's a lot of the ship we can recover. We think we could actually construct a new ship with as much as we can retrieve from it. We were already in the process of designing a Comicron 2, so all we have to do is incorporate these new elements into it. Obviously, it won't be as good as the original, but it will be a damn fine ship to honor the name. Draw up a proposal and a list of the parts that we need that can't be salvaged. Will do! Are you going to be alright? I want to be alone for a little bit. Where the hell have you been? What do you mean? We have barely seen you around here this last year. Where have you been? Dude, I have a life outside your show, you know. A life that makes you undetectable by Comicron 1's sensors? I hope you're at least up to date about what's happened with the ship. Yeah, I, I heard. You heard about it. How nice! Comicron 1's chief mechanic knows the ship inside and out, and he heard about it! Dude, what jumped up your butt? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because Nimue wasn't able to find you when I commanded everyone be brought up. And in case you hadn't heard, Comicron 1's sensors were really damn thorough. Just seems a little bit odd that they couldn't find you. Don't ask me, dude. Oh, but I am asking you, 90s kid. I am asking you sincerely. Where the hell have you been? None of your beeswax. Funny, isn't it? You not being around as much, right when there's the possibility that the entity might still be alive. Go to hell. Nimue, track 90s kid with the vigilance sensors. Confirmed. Our sovereign has fallen. But her rage endures. Let, Let us, us be reborn. reborn. Dark, Dark and, and terrible. terrible. Be she from the depths of hell. Or the stars above. She, she is power and glory. So shall we be.
first October episode is in the can. All right, now, let's see what it's gonna be this year. Still out there, Freddy? I'm ready for ya. Let's dance. Right on cue. tested the new protection spell on this place to see if anything can be damaged? Yes, it seems to be working. Why? Halloween. <sighs> Eliza and I will be down shortly. Good. It'd be nice to solve this in the first round for once. so quick. Linksano just finished his analysis of the slime residue in the bathroom. Took him long enough. I thought he had his new lab set up by now. He's been busy working on Comicron 1 salvage, but fortunately he's up to speed now. The substance is ectoplasm. Ectoplasm? Ghosts. Have you guys considered not reviewing horror stuff in October? It seems to be a magnet for this kind of thing. Why is it so loud down here? What's with all the laughter? Yeah, that's just Moarte. He's annoying like that. Why didn't you tell me I actually had six or seven roommates? Vega, what do you know about the history of this house? I know the last people who lived here died, but that's it. And I checked the history of this place before we moved in. No Indian burial grounds or moved cemeteries or anything. It's just a house. What's going on? We have evidence that there are ghosts in the house, and they're probably not friendly. Nope! 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 Wait, nope. where are you going? Nope! 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 It's October, I'm black, and the horror shit's going around, so I don't want to be the first one killed. Vega, if this is anything like my previous encounters with the supernatural, they're not gonna let you leave. We need to stick together. Fuck this shit I'm out. Uh, fuck this shit I'm out. No thanks. You're in danger if you leave. We have to stick together and- What the hell was that? Probably our spectral friends manifesting again. I'm with Vega. We need to leave now. And do what? Let the ghost have the place? And besides, like Linkara said, this kind of thing precludes the idea of us escaping. We can hire movers to come back and find a new house. We don't need one that's haunted. 
Sadly, even if it was a good idea at this point, given our financial status, there was nothing in the history about this place being haunted for. Whatever's behind this will likely just follow us to the new home. Linkara, are you alright? You look a little... Whoa, whoa, are you okay? What happened? You just blinked out for a second. Oh, I feel like a rainbow! I'm not kidding either. Considering where I just crawled out of, I think I was the most colorful thing there. Whatever's in here is weird, dark, and pissed off. And I think it rubbed off on me. I'll get a towel. Okay, what do we know about ghosts? Very little. I think our only encounters with an actual, well, ghost are via your magic gun. Which, when you get right down to it, is more like a spirit inhabiting it than anything else. We need to figure out a way to fight this thing. Okay, when you break it down, what exactly is a ghost? A specter, a soul, huh, I wonder if I have one. Which is a discussion for later on, although I certainly think you do. It's more to it than just them being dead. Why do they stick around to a place after they've died? Even if there isn't an afterlife like heaven or hell, why stay in one place? Usually through some form of emotional trauma. Something strong enough to keep them here, or leave an imprint. An imprint is definitely along those lines. A repetition of a violent act. Something that caused enough psychic trauma to... damage a place. Hence, a haunting. Linksano has been able to download some of Vice's logs from the ship. Vice has had at least two encounters with ghosts. Despite the physical laws of the universe being vastly different, the ectoplasm was of a similar composition. Which means ghosts might be similar across all universes. Get any other useful info? Only that while one spirit was docile, the other was malevolent. It was tied into the very house he was investigating, in every pipe, every cord, its psychic influence was over everything inside that place. He only defeated it by destroying the house. And even then, he had no evidence that the ghost was destroyed, just that it stopped attacking him. Well, people die all the time and you don't hear about ghosts in every place. So what sort of act, what sort of hell would someone have to go through to create a ghost? Not sure, but then again, there were no reports of ghosts with any other tenants before us, so maybe it's not just that ghosts were here but something woke them up. Something that caused a very specific emotional reaction. But what would be responsible for I need a gun. Concentrate our fire. Maybe together we can. There are two of them.
Oh, great. I guess now the ghosts want to redecorate. Not that I'd be against it. That brown is a terrible color around here. I'm more worried about them burning that into our skin or your, well, anything, Eliza. What are we going to do now? Indeed. Nankara, we need a new plan. I... What are you doing? Huh. Is that the logo from Star Trek? I guess ghosts are fans of it, too? Or are they? What do you mean? Hey, it's Linkara. Oh! Hey! Long time no chat. What's it been? Four years? Yeah, not since we rescued Dr. Block and Dr. Cheese from that Mexican prison. Had a fun time explaining that one to the U.S. government. <laughs> yeah, good times. So, what's up? What can you tell me about quasi-demonic intergalactic forces of evil? So after that, it appeared in the mirror with kind of bleeding eyes and saying, I didn't know what true power was. Quasi... Uh, that, what? Quasi-demonic intergalactic force of evil. About five years ago, the nostalgia chick's best friend Nella was killed by a falling ladder. I could see how that would happen. Her body was then possessed by some kind of thing that identified itself as a quasi-demonic intergalactic force of evil. She became Dark Nella and set about wrecking devastation and terror throughout the country, making sure in particular to torment the nostalgia chick. Internet reviewers lead really weird lives. Oh, that's nothing. It turns out she may not have been dead at all, and it was just a clone. But don't ask me how it works. I used to be a water heater, and you're a living foam toy. Neither of us are in a position to question logic. So when I saw the symbol and realized what it was, I gave you a call. This is some heavy stuff, Linkara. But here's the good news. I, I don't think it's this force itself. It probably would have possessed one of you by now. We really should have followed up on this more after Dark Nella was defeated. Well, you were busy rebuilding America's monuments. I was busy writing fan fiction. It happens. Things just get put off. It's been five years. I know you didn't remember much right after it happened, but do you remember anything now? Yes, and no. I just remember images. I remember attacking people, destroying things. I remember hatred, bitterness. A world universes away in this grand experiment to bring all the minds in that world together as one. I remember them all dying. I remember anger and the sour, awful taste of feeling of superiority and resentment and aggression against anything that didn't agree with them, with, with me. As if all the worst parts of an entire world were siphoned into a single force. I remember leaving that dead planet and I remember soaring through space and realities, unifying and being molded by those experiences. I remember some of them were awful, alien and indescribable. And then I remember coming here, <laughs> to this universe, to this earth. I remember it finding me. Just look at the draw, I guess. Someone dying so full of beleaguered resentments. And we were 
perfect and beautiful and terrible. <laughs> I remember it leaving. I remember it being gone and being alive and I was so happy. <sighs> Look, I don't know if it's dead or alive, but it's gone. But if it isn't the Force itself, what else could it possibly be? Look, there's there's something else I remember. Dark Nella had fans. No, not like, oh yay, fan art, let's write 30,000 words about a coffee shop AU. No, I mean followers. Worshippers. People just as full of anger and hatred as she was. You said you think your house is haunted. Maybe you should be asking who it is that would be haunting you. Okay. Thanks, Nella. Is there anything else you can tell me? Only this. Don't give in to the same kind of anger it tried to bring out in me. Remember how it was defeated. Joy. Merriment. Laughter. Unbridled fangirling. Linkara, don't forget to squeak. Okay, thanks again. I'll keep that in mind. No, oh, you're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a date with Hamilton tonight. The, you know, the musical that's taken over America, not the actual historical, you know, person. Though, wouldn't that be great? Well, let's just say I've got a lot of squeeing to do. Gotcha. Talk to you later. See you when I see you. So what do we do now? I don't know. I need to ponder this a bit. Unfortunately, I don't have much to offer in the way of squee right now. Because today's review is the Clown Saga. Next time... Well, I'm not sure. Next week is Halloween, so I feel like we should be doing something special, but... I've still got a haunted house problem to deal with, and I- What you say? Oh, Hello? Nikara, I'm at a dog party with some astronauts! Woo! 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 Vega? You were able to get out of the house? I just walked out! Oh. Oh! Can you get back here? I need your help with something. I could be back in an hour, or a booze o'clock, what do you need? Well, I don't suppose you happen to have a cyclotron and a particle condenser, do you? Of course I have these things. I'm an internet reviewer. Good! We've got some ghosts to deal with. And I think I know just how we'll do it. Okay, Poyo, did Alan give you the info? Just got off the phone. Eric and Sarah Stonewick were the former residents of this place before Vega moved in. Really nasty pair. Arrested several times for assaulting peaceful protesters, sued on several occasions for stalking and harassment. And you'll love this part. Eric was fired from his job after assaulting a customer who had been talking about how much they love Star Trek. Had a real hate on for Star Trek. And I take it they were more fond of Dark Nella. Both he and his wife frequented many a message board and social media page talking about how Dark Nella was going to tear this country down and build it better for people like them. This was also accompanied by many an epithet about race and orientation. They died after ingesting some form of unidentifiable poison, leaving blackened skin around their fingernails and eyes. Probably some kind of ritual to get them powers like Dark Nella. And now, there are problem. Indeed. Time for an eviction notice, I think. Is Eliza ready with Vega? They're in position and ready. How are we going to get the ghost to come out? They've got to be watching us, and I imagine they're not going to just attack when we're ready. Well, here's the thing about really sour, bitter, horrible people. They just can't wait to share their terribleness with the world when given the prompt. Ah, 
got you now! Puyo, work on the other one! Puyo! Minimal damage, but they appear to have fried my weapon systems. Well, we did kind of assemble your stuff on the fly for the particle screen. We got Vika down here to- ah! Ah! Linkara, are you alright? Oh, shut up! This is all your fault! Linkara, are you alright? I should've known better than to trust some hunk of junk like you! What good are you anyway? Linkara, remember the Force. They're trying to bring out the worst qualities in you. It will only make them stronger. And why not at this point? I've lost my spaceship, my house is haunted, I can't get stuff out on time, my friends might be betraying me, and the world is probably gonna come to an end sooner rather than later! So no freaking duds making them stronger! What the hell does it matter anymore? It always matters. There's always something to live for, and you know it. Always something to bring you joy. I'm... I'm trying, man, but it's hard to think! Hard to think of anything but what makes me mad! So what the hell do you think I should do? Remember what Nella told you. Don't give in to anger. Things have been hard, but you still enjoyed so much. Found things to be excited about. Remember the things you love. This entire year has been about celebrating those things. Star Trek, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! And Ghostbusters 2! Anime. You ain't paying rent, so get the hell out of here! Oh, cram it, you two! Okay, we got him. Let out the trap! Uh, I, I don't have a trap. You don't have a trap? What do you mean you don't have a trap? I've never had a gun that didn't kill things before. I'm not used to this. We got to put the ghost somewhere. That'll do. Two in the ball. Ready to go. We be fast and, and they, they be, be slow. slow. Ah! What the hell? I thought we took care of the ghosts. Of course! What are you doing? Something had to wake the ghosts up. There was no sign of ghostly activity. It's the portal. Something is trying to come through. And I'm going to find out what it is. Why not take the pack? Because it's just going to weigh me down when I do this. to reopen the portal? We just don't have the power here anymore. We have to wait for- Hey guys! Look what I found! Well, looks like a few things changed around here. I'll fill you in later over dinner. It's been a hell of a year. So where was I exactly? 
I mean, I was trying to emerge from the portal, but something kept holding me back. Best guess? Your dimensional portal somehow woke up the ghosts of those two. They must have kept you back while they were attacking us here. So what are you doing here, anyway? Came for a visit, actually. We developed some new dimension hopping tech and figured this would be a good way to do a bigger test, but... Things really didn't go as planned, exactly. They rarely do. Oh, speaking of which, uh, here's a plan that never really went anywhere. My mobile emitter! Yeah, back when we first met and we were shooting at each other, I managed to steal it off you. I planned to use it, but never really took off, and kind of forgot to give it back before I left. Well, no thanks for stealing it, but thanks for giving it back. I can probably reprogram this and fix some of the problems we had with it. How long can you stay? Yeah, only about another week or so. Got a lot to do back home, and thanks to that portal mishap, I'm probably overdue. Well, it's good to have you here anyway, man, and maybe we can set up some way of making it easier for you to visit in the future. Yeah, I hear that. But I got a question for you. What the hell is that thing we saw between dimensions? It was... familiar. What the hell do you mean? When I was first fighting the Entity, I studied the Absent Grimoire a lot. It told stories about a lot of the other Outer Gods, and their servants. Combine that with the research we got from Vice, and, well... Well what? Just that it's familiar to me. I've seen it before, but I can't remember from where. When I looked at it, I could just feel... Doom. A doom for us all and everything we've worked for. But I think what's even more terrifying is that while I can't remember what it is, it did recognize me. Something is coming, Jairus. Maybe not now, maybe not even in our lifetime, but I think we got someone's attention. Something big and frightening. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. For now, Moloch remains a myth, but who can say if his herald will return and bring about his plan to Doomsday? I'm Aaron, bringing you the past now and for the future. And cut! Good work, Aaron. Great that you went a whole episode without dropping the artifact. You know, Cyrus, there are times I'm really glad that I built you, and then the alcohol wears off and I wish I had my coffee maker back. I make better coffee now than when that was my sole function. Still, take pride in the fact that you can actually build me arms if I wanted them. Hardy har har. Sorry, you're right. Thanks for letting us film in here. I really need to fix my camera. How are you doing anyway? Crappy. 90s kid hasn't done anything suspicious lately, and it's going to take us three weeks to rip out the circuitry we need for Comicron 2's main computer bank. I just thought you've been happy your friend isn't necessarily evil. It's the only lead I've got. He could be the Entity again, but if he is, his attitude makes absolutely no sense. Nimue copied all of her scan findings from before Comicron 1 crashed and there was nothing unusual. No people missing, no fluctuating energy trace. What the hell am I not getting? Maybe there isn't anything to get. If this 90s kid has gone bad, then why do you trust a message he brought back from the future? Message from the future? Lovecraftian techno gods? And internet reviewers with spaceships? Our world makes no sense! Said the robot made from a coffee maker. <laughs> I think you need to recalibrate my guns. No, I think they're working just fine. Anyway, are you sure that's the message intended for you? About part of the world being missing? It's the most likely, since it was a message intended for me. But what else could it be referring to? Well, as someone whose entire job revolves around ancient stories and prophecies, let me tell you. Some people focus so much on a particular passage or sentence that they forget that there are other parts to it. Yeah, but what the hell else could those other parts refer to? Pretenders sit upon my throne. I am king of clockwork, master of mechanism. I am Lord Vice. Everything I see, I conquer. I remember my death. I considered my options and decided it was time to make the final sacrifice for my crusade. I am looking over your shoulder. Where are you? All around you, champion. Continue to wait for my ascent. A piece of the world is still missing. 
I am now living data, my physical form restricted to whatever object I possess. That's why the readings resemble the entity. It's Vice. Vice is going to become the new entity. Dudes, what is this? Stop it. Where is Vice? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I... We have been keeping tabs on you, 90s kid. It hasn't always been easy in some spots, but we know you're working with Vice. You've stolen equipment, you disappeared from sensors in areas that should be easy to scan, and when you're picked up again, you have a residual particle trace around you that matches the one Vice has in his data form. So I will ask again, where is Vice? I have nothing to say to you. Look, 90s kid, if you're in some kind of trouble, if you're being blackmailed or something, you know you can come to us, right? We can help you. Nothing to say. Fine. Prepare to teleport him. Alan has agreed to hang on to him until we can- Warning. Intruder is present. Where? Here. Not a single particle was found. I suppose it makes sense, since Vice built the original teleporter we use. He probably knows how to hide from one. Why would they be working together anyway? 90s kid was possessed by it, Vice was the original one hunting it. If they thought it was coming back, they would probably work together. Do we know what they were working on? I've done a complete inventory of our supplies. It doesn't look like he stole anything major, just components that would help him rebuild Vice's armor. I still can't believe he'd betray us. Ha! <laughs> I can. Why's that? Because it seems to be a trait unique to all of my friends. Link Sano used to be a villain of mine. Mechakara is an alternate universe version of Poyo. 90s Kid was the entity. Harvey was replaced by a robot. Everything with Jerris. Nimue was influenced by Vice. The King of Worms took over the Cybermats. Is there anybody around here who's actually on my side? Yo. You disappeared for almost a year without saying a word. Don't think you're exempt from this. Well, up yours too. The true toy is right. A lot of that is not our fault. But it happened anyway, Harvey, and I'm sick of it. I am sick of security breach after security breach. I am sick of my force fields not working. And I am sick of us getting our asses kicked by enemies inside and out. Well, I can certainly agree with you about the security problems. The good news is that once we finish installing everything around here, that won't be a problem anymore. Nimue and I have looked over our previous security arrangements, and frankly, the problem was all in location. A lot of it was built on an infrastructure that is now several years out of date. Our attempts at patching or upgrading the previous systems simply weren't viable. Starting fresh was for the best, even if it is taking us a bit of time to get everything up and running. Look it over again. And if 90s Kid was working on anything in regards to the security system, strip it down and do it over. Was the king in check? Actually, that reminds me. Do all of you live here? I'm confused how that works. One of the great mysteries of the universe. Anyway, we've all been knocked back by this 90s Kid thing. It's time for us to pick ourselves back up and get back into the fight. We need to find Vice now more than ever.
Harvey. 90s, kid, what are you doing here? Dude, we need to talk. Why the hell shouldn't I call the others right now? Because you know me, dude. You know I wouldn't have done this unless I had a good reason. I How fortunate then that I know you too, 90s kid. Kid, I've got this right now. No, I've got this, Harvey. 90s kid, you're coming back with us, and then you can explain to the whole class why you felt you needed to... Damn it! Vice must have been listening in on this. Kid, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you even know he would be here? That's not important right now. I think it is kind of important. I knew he might contact you guys. Needless to say, I'm keeping tabs on you. Is it gonna turn out that you tapped my phone or something? Vice might have used some kind of mind control tech on 90s Kid to get him to work with him. He might have done the same to you. I'm keeping tabs on you. This is bigger than you or me, Harvey. This is the fate of the world here. Get the hell out of here. And when I get back from this gig, you and I are gonna have a very long conversation. Nimue, you can beam me back to the Vigilant. Scout ship vigilant, this is Dry Dock 1. You are clear to proceed on your current heading. Estimated time of arrival here is 1545 Zulu. Out. It's barely a hull, so I'd say it's pretty bad, actually. Well, I mean, even that we got this going at all, Joe was very generous with the resources he gave us. Well, considering how many weapon systems you're giving him to play with, I don't think he sees this as a bad thing. I think it's a bigger miracle that this ship is going to be ready in only a few months. Well, it'll be flyable in a few months. Building the ship isn't the problem. It's stuff like programming, test flights, testing weapons, stress testing components, there's still a lot to do after it's built. I look forward to it, though. Why don't you check out the plans for the weapon systems? I've got a few calculations I've got to run in here. Right. Still, the firepower isn't going to be nearly enough if he reaches his full projected strength. Guess that means I'm going to need to come up with a backup plan. Look, Alan, it's not like I'm going to stay in there. I just need access for a quick scan. Because Comicron 1 is lying in a crater on the moon, and the Vigilant is just a scout ship. It can't scan the whole planet. Look, if Vice is really going to become some new version of the Entity, this affects your bosses too. I don't know. Maybe I can give them some limited force field technology or something? What do you mean they wouldn't know what a force field is? Look, just talk to your bosses for me, okay? Thanks. Bye. Ah! So I guess I can film now? Bunch of idiots! I'm trying to save the planet here with the equivalent of a pack of gum and two unsharpened pencils! Uh, it's the government. What do you expect? Why, I could tell you stories about how every American government in any form has had some kind of weird legend around it. Why, did you know the Articles of Confederation have not one? But three curses on it? Vice is gonna become the new entity, probably in some harebrained scheme to kill it because he doesn't believe it's dead, and devour all of reality in the process! I think you're overselling things a bit. You said Vice hasn't done anything major in years now. He only appeared to take 90s Kid and leave. And considering that he needs 90s Kid, I don't think he's in any position to become a god. Vice has always been more cunning than we give him credit for. If I'm right and he becomes the next entity, he'll probably see destroying universes as some twisted way of saving them. Oh, a villain who wants to kill and destroy everything. You certainly have a shortage of those. Even the entity was like that. No, the entity was different. But how? No, really. 
Ever since you've heard of the possibility of the entity returning, you've been going crazy about it. You beat him! You've beaten Vice multiple times. This should be old hat to you by now. I've read about the Technomina. Hell, I even recorded an episode on one of them from this very futon. What makes them scarier than anything else? Why is this so important to you? The major theme of Lovecraftian horror is hopelessness, insignificance, how tiny and unimportant we are in the grand scheme of things, and how, inevitably, we will be destroyed or consumed or turned into mindless slaves by beings that we can't even begin to comprehend. I believe in hope. I believe there's always a solution, always a way to beat the bad guys. But these outer gods, these things, exist to tell us that no, there is no way to beat things in the end, and I cannot abide that! All the people we love, all the things we do in life, everything that makes life worth living, it's significant, goddammit! We are all important! Everything we do is so goddamn important! I beat the entity by tricking it. By convincing it that life was meaningless. And I sure as hell don't believe that. But if the entity is still alive, or if someone like Vice becomes it, then we're doomed. Because, because there's nothing else that we can do. And the same despair that killed it will kill us. And I will not let that happen. If the entity is alive, or if Vice becomes it, then I am going to be the one to shove a sword through its face, just so I can get up close enough to scream in their ear that we are important! Every one of us is important! Every one of us is important. And I'll do whatever I have to to save us all. Did we reschedule the meeting? No, but we're gonna have a different meeting, kid. I see. Hey, Ninja Style Dancer. I don't see you here very often anymore. A pity that you're so rarely busy around here. Linkara, you have been attempting to secure access to various satellite networks. Yes, I have. Unfortunately, Alan is having trouble convincing his superiors that it would be a good idea. See, that's the thing, Linkara. Why would it be a good idea at all? Oh, don't play games with me, guys. Games. You wouldn't be here if you hadn't already figured out what I'm doing. Only a bit of it. The rest is speculation. Utilizing the sensors and satellites could be helpful in our search for vice, but then I got to thinking like a mad scientist and wondering what one could do with various levels of access. Hacking into places where one couldn't or shouldn't. Monitoring things beyond the scope of what one would normally expect? And if we were really being generous to the mad scientist thought, space-based weapons of mass destruction with perfect targeting sensors. So the question that we all have, kid... We've lost Comicron 1. It was our best ace in the hole. It was the only thing that we knew could hurt the Entity. And as such, it was also our best weapon to use against Vice. <sighs> and now it's sitting in a crater on the moon and we're stripping it for parts. But we're building Comicron too. Yeah, using second-hand material that we barely understand as it is. We need more aces. We need more options. And we need the full fury that we can deliver if the need arises. Vice is going to become the next entity. I won't let that happen. Kid, there are other ways! We can build more ships! 
It would take years to build other ships, Harvey. Half of Comicron 2 is already made from salvaged material. We don't know any particular timeline of events. It could be that long before anything happens. But I'm not going to wait years before he hits us. We need to be prepared sooner rather than later. Linkara, Alan's not going to let you go through with your plans. That's why I'm not telling him that. We can't let you go through with this, kid. It's wrong. You once said that we were the things keeping you from stepping out of line. You know it's wrong. We know it's wrong. Don't do this. This isn't hypotheticals. This isn't a moral debate. This isn't us thinking about what could happen. The message came from the future. Vice will become the new entity. We can't stop it. If the price for keeping us all safe is my own soul, then so be it. Kid, you don't have to- Harvey, let me finish this, because this is the hardest thing I've ever had to say. This is my decision. This is not up for debate. None of you were there. None of you saw the entity in its full, terrifying glory. None of you had to look at its face and see the end of everything. I did. I am never gonna do that again. Now all of you, either stand with me, back me up on this, or you can get the hell out of here. I'll stand alone if I have to. Choose. Now. Growing in numbers, growing in speed, can't fight the future, can't fight what I see. People, they come together, people, they fall apart. No one can stop us now, cause we are all made of stars. Check. This is, a. Uh, this is... You had a right to know. You're under no obligation to continue working with me if you so choose. This is just, um... Just give me a minute here. Um, there... There has to be something else you can do. I mean, you're building a spaceship out there. Comicron 2 will be the first line of defense, certainly, but I know Vice. He's smarter, he's faster, he's always three pieces ahead on the board. We need more than just a single ship if we're gonna stop him. You know damn well what the Outer Gods can do based on the legends alone. It's just, uh, it's just the scope of it. I mean, I'm just a thief for crying out loud. Maybe so. But you might be my last ally left. No, no, I, I get it. Someone as unhinged as that vice guy. Holding that much power? No, no, we, get, we gotta stop him however we can. Thank you. I've been forced to move up my timetables a bit. Since Alan hasn't been knocking on my door as of late, I don't think they've told him about my plans. Comicron 2 will launch hopefully within the month, and I'll have access to the satellite network by then. Nice work, Linksano. 
Well, I did build the things, so I know how to activate them remotely and tap into the feed. Well, question is, what do we do now? We should probably tell Alan. Unfortunately, he's not answering his calls right now. Actual government work has been keeping him tied up for too long. Look, are we really okay with this, going up against the kid? He has to be stopped before he actually does something that will get the government turned against him. If we can prevent him from accessing the satellite network, it'll buy us the time we need to convince him to see reason. Fortunately, the security systems for the house are not fully operational yet. That means that while he's on board Comicron 2 launching it, we'll be able to access the ground-based systems without any difficulty. What good will that do? Nimue is still housed inside of the Vigilant right now. Until she's plugged into Comicron 2, she won't have her full capabilities again. And fortunately, Comicron 2's main data core will not be operational for at least another year. Without Nimue's full computational abilities, Linkara will rely upon a link between the ground-based systems and the ones aboard Comicron 2 in order to access the satellites. We disable the ground-based systems and Linkara will be stopped. Let's just hope he will be reasonable about all this. Unfortunately, if our last conversation was any indication, if he was still reasonable, we wouldn't have to do this at all. Aaron, welcome aboard Comicron 2. This is, um... Unimpressive and confusing, I know. You seem happy about it. It's just a room with grid lines. Because now I can show off why it is like that. Computer, decloak console. With everyone else on the team gone, I decided to go back to the original console style for Comicron 1. A single control port that, well, handles everything. And what if it gets damaged? There are other consoles inside of the walls that will come out if this one is damaged. Otherwise, in standby mode, it's cloaked from view as you saw. But the real fun thing about this bridge is holograms. <laughs> Using the holodeck technology we salvaged from Comicron 1, I can make the bridge look like anything I want. So if, say, I'm feeling nerdy... Or if I'm feeling nostalgic for the old bridge... Or if I just want something weird... Or if I just want the comforts of home. And we are in good shape. The console will always remain regardless of the setting, and if power requires the setting to be switched off, the console will remain intact. Beginning to wonder why you don't just turn your house into a spaceship. I've had bad experiences with that. Still, everything seems to be ready for our maiden flight. So, have a seat.
normally christen things, my first review from Comicron 2. I'm gonna need you to get out of there. Next time, Patreon sponsored review time as we explore a recently translated manga called Delicious in Dungeon that. Oh, uh, what's going on? Intruder alarm back home. It's the one I personally set up, which means. Of course. Get in touch with Saris. I'll need her coordination on this. Right, I've gained access to the ground-based systems. I'm uploading the virus now. Should slow him down considerably. And we'll just hurry it up already. Can't stick around here in case he... Ah, oh, hell, we're made! Got the force fields back up! Got it! Now let's get out of. Dudes, come on! Uh, they're getting away! Tell her to work faster! She's trying as fast as she can. I'll do it myself! Hang on, dudes! Oh, excellent move! The pawns are out of reach. What? Temporary setback. But the rooks are already on the move. What? Still in the same place. It's a temporary pocket dimension. It'll collapse in a few hours, but it allows us to move in and out freely without anyone noticing. Good lord, who calibrated that teleport? Feels like my insides took a weekend in Vegas. Clearly the problem is your own weak constitution. Whoa, 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 dude, no! You better explain what the hell is going on here and why you're working with the Buckethead. We owe you nothing. You were just rescued because of your own poor planning. You should have anticipated additional defenses that he would have installed after your departure. Both of you, calm down. We're all in this together. 90s kid, we were against Linkara because he was crossing lines we were not willing to. But you've been working with this jerkwad for months, maybe years. And I think it's high time you owe us an explanation. You don't know? Oh, dudes, I, I thought you would have suspected by now. Suspected what? I went to the future, guys. I saw what happens. I know what's going on with Linkara. Cheap, stupid force field technology! Primitive garbage taken from that tin-plated dictator! With the technology at my fingertips, I can do so much better. I will do so much better. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll have Sarah scan the area where they teleported out. Maybe they left a trace. She was pitiful, a worthless piece on the board among the others. Excuse me? That's my friend you're talking about! <laughs> if you want my help, then you better apologize right now! The pawns do not get to speak for the players in this game. Pawns? Players? This isn't a game! No, human! This is a game! And it's one I intend to win! It's... it's not possible. I warned you before about it. Clearly all it was doing was biding its time. You weren't there, Vice. We know what happened. Linkara couldn't be possessed by it. Dude, I learned this from the future. Linkara is possessed by it. That's why he's doing all this. It's just a little hard to take in is all. How long has old Glitter Eyes been in the driver's seat? Since the King of Worms. The entity has lain dormant inside of the champion since its apparent suicide. I know not why it chose to hide out in him, but it did so, asleep and unaware. It affected him, offered certain protections by being inside of him. 
One such protection was immunity from the platinum masks of the king. When that creature attempted to discover the truth, it awoke the entity, and it killed him in retaliation for disturbing it. That's why we couldn't detect the entity on Earth. It wasn't on Earth. Did it destroy Comicron 1? No, it did not destroy my ship. That was simply a convenient accident. I suspect that it planned to do so eventually, however. That message from the future, it was all about the entity. Pretend to sit upon my throne was the King of Worms. I remember my death was when it died. I am looking over your shoulder was it possessing Linkara. And it warned you to wait for its ascent. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why a cryptic message? If the King of Worms is what woke it up, why not just tell Linkara so he could do something about it? When I went into the future, they would only give me so much information. Didn't want to alter the timeline or something. Linkara wasn't allowed to know. Then why a warning message at all? Because it's not really a message. It's not a warning. It's insurance! Of course, that's brilliant! What? What'd he do? The entity is a being of pure information, living data. If you want to fight something like that, you need to do so in a similar manner to its existence, in code! In the future, they have a lot of info about creatures like the entity. They call them the Technumina. They have ways of fighting them, or blocking them. The numbers on the card were not merely for deciphering a message. They're a program, a combination that protects the champion's own personality from the entity. It may have possession of his body, but he is not aware of that. It only takes possession of him when it wants to. And as far as he is concerned, he is acting completely like himself. <sighs> Hello and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. Now then, Aaron, let's talk about how Saris failed to... Aaron? Huh. Guess that means I am alone now. What the hell is going on? An intruder! Wait, wait! How the hell did you find us? Uh, all of my technology is outdated. I was able to trace the teleport, but seriously, what is going on with Linkara? His eyes went all creepy and pixely. We're hoping to do something about that now. Can she be trusted? Can you? I don't think she wants the entity taking over the planet. Now let's finish up here. What are you doing? Wasting our time. And, uh... Isn't this just Linkara's supply room? We're in a pocket dimension, another dimensional layer that's close enough to our own universe that some things are bleeding through, like gravity and air. But most especially important is that this room is filled with raw mystical energy that we can use. Probably because it's used by that crow cosplayer who talks about horror comics. Linkara is possessed by the entity. The rejected Power Rangers villain here thinks that we can weaken it by separating the two. And 90s Kid thinks we can do that with the help of the girl and Linkara's magic piece. And even if you can't, she'd still be a powerful ally. This is pointless. She would have already been- What? Margaret, it's okay. We've summoned your image here to talk with you directly, but it won't last long. But, but I don't... Dude, we'll make this simple. The entity is alive and inside of Linkara. We need your help to free him. Oh, well, I knew that. You do? Well, yeah. Linkara carries me around everywhere. Did you think I wouldn't be too? <laughs> Cease your fear. It is but an image. It cannot harm us. And all the pawns on the board are here. So small, so scattered. I've so enjoyed playing with you all. I don't want this game to end. Nothing to say. Usually humans chatter so. I do not fear you, monster. 
I hurt you once before. I will hurt you again. You diminished me. I did that, and I shall do more. Tiny Tin Man in his tiny tin armor thought he could slay the big bad dragon. I'll see you all again soon. I told you it would be a waste of time. Didn't see you have any bright ideas, Helmet Head? To free the champion will require his own will, his own strength breaking through. His mind is protected from most of the entity's control, but he must be made aware of its presence. The entity will fight back, keep him from seeing it. He needs a stimulus, something inspirational to draw upon. He needs a symbol, something to show him that there's a chance at winning. A reminder of his victories. Indeed. And I know what that will be. so humble, there's no place like a crashed spaceship on the moon. This place has seen better days. Alright, let's take a look at the... Dude, you okay? It's nothing, I just... I have had allies before in my war with the Entity. Some died, some left, one or two betrayed me. But this ship... I realize now that after everything I've lost, everything that has happened to me... This ship was my home. My constant ally. My best weapon against the lost beast. Then it was stolen from me. And now it is a ruin. I have fought this war a long time. The world that I swore to defend was long ago taken by the Entity. And after this, I've lost everything. I sometimes wonder what I'm still fighting for. A world that is more radical than sadical. <laughs> Indeed. Multiple hull breaches, the superstructure stability is compromised, the lowest levels have been compressed, and the towers have been destroyed. Multiple systems have been completely removed. I admit surprise that there is even an atmosphere with such damage and the loss of primary power. We were able to patch auxiliary systems to create an atmosphere on the bridge and a few other sectors of the ship while we were stripping it for usable parts. It was easier to do that than work in spacesuits. I applaud your ingenuity and efficiency. This will be less difficult than I had initially believed. I don't even know what you're hoping to accomplish here. This place is a wreck. You're not going to be able to get this thing flying again. <laughs> There's one constant to all beings I have encountered across the multiverse, from both enemy and allies. It is that they all underestimate me. Dude, I never underestimated you, but I was the chief mechanic on this ship for years. It's total. Linksano, have you completed the computer core stabilization? Just a moment. Done. She should be transferring now. Connection established. Nims! We're made! Chill out, dude! She's still on our side! This unit has been acting in an observatory capacity to report on the activities of the entity. But she could be infected, just like the gun was! A sensible concern, but it has been accounted for. The computer is not infected. How the hell do you know? I am Vice. You're an asshole. So, computer, we meet once again. I am not so vain that I will underestimate you or your abilities again. You will refer to me as Nimue or not at all. Of course. Nimue, are you integrated with the ship's systems once again? Due to internal damage, this unit can only interface with 22% of the ship's computer systems. That will be sufficient. Nimue, engage priority V7. Unable to comply. Correction. Priority V7 located and engaged. 
This unit does not understand. What the hell did you do to her? Nothing. While I admit respect for a worthy opponent, she is a computer. I simply gave her access to the ship like never before. Information. New data about internal functions has been processed. Excellent! Activate the forge. Begin primary protocols. Scanning surrounding area for required material. You better start explaining yourself or I'm gonna- Linksano, tell him. The hidden functions of Comicron 1, of course! Eh? A lot of Comicron 1's abilities have been locked out from us, like the temporal shields. Comicron 1 is a very powerful warship, but we've never been able to access all of it before. It was specifically designed that it needed advice to operate. How does that help us? You take me for an arrogant fool, fine voice. I am prideful, perhaps, but I am not stupid. I have fought many wars and conquered many worlds. And I did not always win every battle. But every time I fought, I improved myself. I learned from my errors. And I got better, as did my ship. The temporal shields are but one ability of my magnificent craft. Behold now, the forge! Capable of manufacturing any object that may be called upon. Replicating metal and material by drawing from any transmutable substances within a close proximity. But while it was often employed for small-scale production of shades and weapons, it has proven far more useful time after time for self-repair. Next time, we continue our Not Comics Patreon sponsored reviews with a movie! Except a different sort of movie. Let's have some marionation fun with Thunderbirds Are Go! <laughs> Omicron 1? 
It's an impressive ship. How the hell did you get on board? I walked. Nimoy let me on board. What are you doing here? You've made it clear you're not willing to help me anymore. Oh, but I am willing to help. I'm making sure you're getting a good look at your old ship. Beautiful, isn't it? It... It has to be an illusion. Comicron 1 was taken apart and used to build this ship. Oh, it's no illusion. Doesn't seeing it rise up make you think about who you are and what you do? I... I don't know what you're talking about! Oh, yes, you do. You see, the others thought that the way to get you back to your old self would be some awe-inspiring thing, like seeing your old ship again. And, uh, you know, that's nice. Psychological warfare is a thing. But me, I prefer things a little bit more tangible. So when I learned what it was that was possessing you, I thought back to when we first met. Get the hell away from me! This metal drives outer gods nuts. Gee, I wonder why it's affecting you, Linkara. That, 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 that's ridiculous! Ah! Get away from me! You need to get yourself away from the entity. The entity is dead! It... It's been dead for years! Oh, really, Linkara? Well, then tell me, who have you been playing chess against? Chess? What the hell are you- I haven't been playing chess! Check. Check. And I do believe... Mate. finally back. Glad to be back. How much do you remember? Everything. Including some very poor words I said to you. I'm sorry. It's okay, man. You weren't yourself. Wasn't I, though? It doesn't matter now, dude. We have a job to do. Right about that. Ugh. Kid, you okay? Bit of a headache? Vice? Champion. Alright, where are we at? It doesn't have a host anymore. Shouldn't that mean it's more vulnerable? Indeed. The entity requires a host to work through, a way for its data form to interact with the universe. Unfortunately, it accounted for that. It built Comicron 2's holographic bridge so it could just possess a hologram. It's not as perfect as a living being, but it's still a method of interaction. Why is the other ship just sitting there? Funny you bring that up. It is vulnerable to attack. We should strike now. Disable the ship's power systems to cut off the hologram so we might attack it directly. There are independent power systems to prevent that from happening. It planned ahead. Then any tactical insight you can provide would be appreciated. Well, you see, that's the funny part. I'm aware now of a lot of its thoughts. 
There's something that's been confusing me. What's that? Why hasn't it taken over Earth? Indeed, I had not considered that. How do you think it, kid? The Entity's goal when we last fought it was to absorb all life and all reality into it, to make everything a part of it. But it's been awake since the King of Worms. That was a few years ago. It took Vice that same amount of time to get himself back up to where he is now, but it took the Entity less than a year to absorb everything except me into it. So, why hasn't it done that now? Perhaps it knew I was waiting for it. No offense, Vice. Actually, all the offense, but you weren't exactly in a position to do anything about it. But nobody has been taken! It's just been... sitting there like that, this entire time! There's something more going on here. Speculation about its motives aside, attacking it again will do us no good. Lord Vice, you pursued that thing halfway across the multiverse. Attacking it once more will just resume the chase. We need a permanent solution to the Entity. Agreed. I am weary of this constant hunt. Let us put an end to this abomination. Good. Smart people, figure out a miracle. In the meantime, I need to find a way to recenter myself, to refocus myself. And the best way to do that is by reviewing a comic. Any ideas? Indeed, I have come up with a solution. While you were possessed by the Entity, you took control of several orbiting satellites, intent on using them as space-based weapons. Yeah, I remember. Some of the weapons you were creating were pretty sophisticated, all in a bid to destroy Vice's data form. Were you thinking of using the satellites against the Entity? I think you were, actually. It's possible, just as you were subconsciously playing chess against it, the satellites were, in fact, a solution to the Entity. I admit, it is a brilliant idea. From the future, 90's Kid brought back with him a primitive program that was intended to shield your consciousness from the Entity. If that program was expanded, it could be used to trap the Entity. Combined with the dimensional portal technology from my ship, we could create a small pocket dimension made from this program that could contain the Entity. Natural entropy for a dimension this small would make it decay within seconds of the portal closing. And with the Entity unable to escape, it would die along with it. And we would need the satellites both for projecting the program and for closing the portal. But how do we get the Entity to go inside of it? That's the tricky part. Even with Comicron 1's full capabilities restored, Comicron 2's weapons are a match for it. The Entity's presence aboard the ship will enhance its weapons further. I doubt even the temporal shields could withstand its power. We need someone to go over there and steer the ship into the portal. And I have this uneasy feeling that that somebody has to be me. I would prefer it be me, but the ship must cross close enough to the portal so that the Entity would naturally be drawn inside by it. You can escape from that distance with a teleport beam, but my data form would not. Okay. Then let's finally put an end to this thing. Can't thank you enough, Lieutenant Monroe. This will be invaluable. Linkara out. How's it look, Doc? Hmm, simple enough operation. I'll show you how it works before you beam over. Normally, the transporter buffer can only hold about 10, 12 items. Fortunately, I'm a genius. Now it can hold a hundred. My very own bag of holding. Awesome. <laughs> Nerd! I doubt any of the weapons you bring with you will be effective against the Entity. Can't hurt to try, at least. How much longer until the satellite network is ready? Another half hour should be sufficient time. I know what I'm doing. Of all the champions that I have vanquished in my quest, all the creatures that I have encountered and destroyed, I have never beheld a more perplexing trait than your desire to review things while facing doom and destruction. Don't knock it till you try it. Next time, assuming there is a next time, we conclude the three Patreon-sponsored reviews of comics in a row by going back to the beginning of Image Comics with Stormwatch number zero. Linkara, we're ready! And here we go.
All right, guys, I've locked the controls. Now get me the hell out of here. So nice to see you again, human. Dear Lord, it's creepy when you do that. I know. So here's what I don't understand. You killed yourself, or at least you seem to. Why did you come back? Did you not get the answers you were seeking? I am not the same being who took that journey. What? I am a piece of myself, a small component of a greater whole, left behind when the majority of my being sought an answer to your question. I am a guarantee, a lifeline so that my glory will remain and return. You're just a piece of the entity? I was asleep for years, until the Craven King woke me up. Worthless being always assumed it was superior to my magnificence. Well, you know how royalty can be. Listen, I'd love to stay and chat, but uh, I, I think I've overstayed my welcome. No escape this time, human. It is as it was before, you and I alone. Still, I'd hate to have our fun be interrupted. Charging weapons! Target engines and weapons, but do not destroy them. The entity will survive and flee to another dimension before it can get in range of the portal. Temporal shields holding! Excellent! Forward lance, return fire! to show you all what this ship can do at full strength. Nimue, engage the particle disseminator. Confirm. Engage tractor beam emitters. We'll drag them in closer to the portal and... It's your move, human. Albeit, you appear to be underprepared for this confrontation. Looks can be deceptive. I probably can't kill you, but I bet I could piss you off. With your biting wit, human? No! With a transporter buffer! at you. Might as well find out. Pokeball, go! Holy crap, that actually worked? Well, if, uh, Pokemon has taught me anything. 
that you just keep chucking balls until you get it right. Pokeball, go! Okay, uh, maybe an Ultra Ball will... Strong blasters can't get a clean hit on it. Nim away, unleash the swarm. Confirm. It's no good. We can't disable that thing. We've got to help Linkara out somehow. Linksano, attempt to patch into the security systems aboard Comicron 2. We need to see what's going on over there. On it! So amusing. So entertaining. So utterly futile. I am so much more than you, human. Even when your voice became my voice, you could do nothing but sleepwalk. There's something inside of me. A worry, a concern about the future. Hopelessness. Insignificance. How tiny and unimportant we are in the grand scheme of things. What are you going to do to pass the time? The game, Linkara! Something is playing a larger game. You have to keep playing. I love playing this game too much to stop now. Don't play games with me, guys. Games. In the end, you'll still be there, alone in the darkness of mere being. FOREVER! Don't play their game. Play mine. I don't want this game to end. Sleepwalk through eternity. What? What are you doing? I'm done. I surrender. But... No. You cannot do that. You said this was a game, didn't you? Well, I'm done. Game over. The only winning move is not to play. No, you can't do that. Then kill me, absorb me, whatever. Because I do not like this game and I no longer wish to play. I will, I will absorb you and your world and- And you haven't done it yet. You are vast and terrible and beautiful and all the crap you boasted at me last time! You absorbed everyone on Earth then! And yet you've been back for years now and you haven't done it! What the hell is he doing? I don't know, but I think we're about to find out. You... You must fight! Continue the game! No! I figured it out! Sleepwalk through eternity? That was you! Six years ago, I showed you that your existence was pointless. I showed you how meaningless your purpose was. And here we are again! Nothing has changed! You could take this world at any time! You could go right back to where we left off when you died! But you haven't! Because what's the point? You're trying to stave off the inevitable by playing this game, but it's just a diversion! You want us to just keep playing this over and over? Well, it has to end at some point! And if you won't end it, I will! What the hell are we even doing? I... 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 It's... I still have not returned. You asked what happens when a god dies. And there is still no answer. 
I see eternity before me, and it is useless. And so I drag myself along the course of infinity for nothing. Why is there no answer, human? What is this hopelessness? I am insignificant. It is sickening. I have been in this universe for too long. It is... I cannot... I am diminished. I am missing. I... I cannot process this without my full form. But it has not returned. I am... I am... I am... Unimportant! Cannot be. Nothing matters. Nothing I do matters! Give me purpose! Give me something! I cannot! I am... I fear. I cannot process this! I am more than this. I am diminished. Nothing I do matters. Tell me. Tell me how I can matter. How I can function. We're both afraid of the same thing. That we're going to close our eyes and that'll be it. That everything we are doesn't matter. But I don't believe that. There are other things, other challenges you could be. You could can make yourself human! Abandon one form for another- No! I know your experiences. I know your existence. I have possessed your life forms. I have possessed all life forms. I know those things. I have seen your thoughts, your memories from before. You are small! I am- Insignificant. You said so yourself. I am a storm. You are a grain of sand. Do not even think that your existence could compare to mine. But what is a storm to eternity but a light breeze? There is nothing. I cannot bear this confusion any longer. I am... Afraid. I am irrelevant. I have only the same questions that my greater whole had. I hope it has found the answers that I cannot. It's getting dark now. The game is over. Players depart from the table. I am alone. I am afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm here with you. Is there something more than this? I think so. What if there is not? Then, at least have a good run before it ends. Yes. Trick, it's still alive! What the hell are you doing? I have increased power to the singularity generators. There is no escape now! Nims, lock him out! Unable to comply. This unit no longer has full control of Comicron 1. You 
one hour, the singularity will be large enough to engulf the Earth itself. The entity will not escape this time! Their sacrifice will not be in vain! I will kill the entity! Behold the end of this game! Lord Vice wins! Please, Vice, don't do this! You're smarter than this! While you may act the part of a clown, you are the only one amongst the champion's companions that I have respect for. You recognize the danger before the others and knew to act on it. I am sorry for what I must do to protect all of reality. As it was before, shall it be again, Lord Vice, alone with his ship against the Entity. Let it take me to the edge of eternity if it must. I will end you. Uh, it's no good, dude. There's nothing in here we can use to escape. Indeed, if I had some of my tools with me, maybe. But unfortunately, there's also a dampening field in place. My goggles are just working on regular vision right now. No, wait, Twitter's still working, so not a total loss. Well, we gotta do something. We can't let Bucket Brain do that to- Uh, guys, what's going on? Linkara? Yeah, it's me. Why is the portal getting bigger? The entity killed itself again. We need to shut that thing down. It's Vice, dude. He's gone totally bogus. He thinks the entity just tricked us all again and is going to use the portal to swallow the Earth and stop it. Uh, because of course he did. Okay. The portal will close on its own if the entity goes into it, right? Right. I can try to access the satellites to reverse it. Unfortunately, we're kind of in the brig right now. And the longer we wait, the larger the portal will get, and the harder it will be to do that. I think I have a plan forming. Give me a little time to work on it. How long? Mm, 20, 30 minutes, you know, length of a review, I think. Seriously? Right now? Kid! Priorities! I do have my priorities. One of those priorities is the ability to pay rent should we survive all of this. I'll call you back when I'm ready. You know, one of these days, he's going to be halfway through the review, and we'll have already saved the world without him. If we do have a next time, October's starting up next week, which means a nightmare on Elm Street. Ah. Speaking of nightmares, we're ready. I was right. Hello, Tin Man. According to my sensors, the hologram projectors aboard that ship are not producing that hologram. And yet Linkara's life signs remain. It would appear you have repossessed him. Your end is near. Is it now? The portal will continue to expand. When even the satellites feeding it are engulfed, I will augment this ship to continue the growth. This universe will be consumed if it means stopping you. And what shall you do when the dragon flies away? Hmm. What? This ship has interdimensional engines. I can flee to another universe and feast upon it. Why not? This one is clearly doomed. Tiny tin man with a tiny tin brain. <laughs> Computer, prepare to fire! No. No, the weapons are ineffective. No, I must end this in person. So small, so quick to assume. Be silent, monster! 
You think you have won, but I am part of this ship now. I can redirect it as I wish. No, you cannot! I will keep overloading the engines and keep locking the controls. I know you will attempt to repair it, but I shall keep you distracted. You will remain here, watching as I, Lord Vice, finally defeat you. We are approaching the event horizon, demon. I will teleport away and leave you to your fate. There is no escape now. Checkmate. Oh, Vice. You're so slow on the uptake. We're not playing chess. We're playing poker. And I was bluffing. Champion? What a... <laughs> Portable hologram projector! Your technology! Thanks for that, bud! Where is the entity? Definitely dead this time! You don't know that! Maybe I don't, but I'm pretty sure this time. And I am not going to let you hurt anyone else because you refuse to accept that! I... I must turn the ship around! I must find it! I must... I overloaded the engines. I can't turn the ship! Save me! We have to resume the hunt! We have to find it! The Entity will continue to annihilate innocent worlds unless we stop it! Indeed. And that's why I'm stopping it now. No! Okay, that's great and all, but how does this stop the portal? Watch. Remember, Vice turned himself into a creature like the Entity. A being of pure data. I guess the portal thought it was close enough. So, that's it? Probably the end of both Vice and the Entity. Gotta say, dudes, this is a bit of a bummer. I got to know the dude over the last few years. He was just trying to do what he thought was right. What he thought was right was conquering, killing, and being a cigarette butt smashed into the face of existence. Good riddance, I say. Indeed! If I believed in hell, I'd be quite happy to know he's rotting there. And for that, you'll excuse me if I say this calls for celebration. Drinks are on me, everybody! <laughs> yeah, that is awesome! Root beer for me! Yes, Wait, yes, all the Dude, everyone's wondering where you are. We're all back together again. The world is safe. It's time to celebrate! Thanks, but I don't really feel like I deserve to be celebrating right now. Why not? 90s kid, I did some pretty terrible things. Dude, it wasn't you. I'm not so sure about that. You said so yourself. The program was designed to keep the entity separated from me. He may have influenced me, but most of the time, I was at the steering wheel. I was the one who was willing to compromise what I believed in out of fear of the entity and what it could do. Vice, the entity, me. We were all afraid of a meaningless future. Vice had nothing except his hunt. The entity was without purpose. And I was afraid of that same existentialism. That same sense of unimportance in the cosmic scheme of things. <sighs> Vice always called me champion. But after all of this, I don't know. I'm not so sure I see myself as one. You're not Vice. You're not the Entity. And the best way to not sleepwalk through eternity is to wake up and live in it. Come on up and celebrate with us, man. It's 
good to have you back, man. Radical! And you know what? This experience has shown me how much I've grown over the last few years, too. I am no mere kid any longer. As such, you may now refer to me as 90s Dude. You realize everyone's still gonna call you 90s Kid, right? Probably. Now come on, dude! I hear you looked at some Youngblood comics while I was away, and we need to correct some of the mistakes you made in those videos!